hello what's up in this simple video i'll be showing you how you can easily edit and process your raw photos for those that are scared to shoot in raw and you want to learn how to color grade or color correct your raw images when it comes to photoshop this is the best video for you so in this i'm just going to be learning how you can easily edit your raw images in both camera raw and lightroom so you if i told you use lightroom to process or edit your raw photos you can use the same steps because camera raw and lightroom are basically identical so you can see the before and the after before after so we're going to be getting how we can make this image look like this and make it pop when it comes to photoshop so simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel so i'll just come and i reset this photo to the default so that you can learn together so this is the photo that we want to work with and the very first thing you notice when it comes to this image it is over exposed so in lightroom or camera we have the light option and this option or this panel controls how bright or how much of the contrast we want in the photo so you can see that the very first mistake what to correct in this image is it is over exposed so just come to where you see exposure and when you take this slider towards the left hand side we are reducing on the exposure and the opposite is going to be increasing on the exposure so just take it down and at about there i feel like the image looks better than it was before so you can see before and after so after doing that we just want to add contrast to the image so just add contrast by moving the contrast slider towards the right hand side and that is going to add contrast to the image so you can notice that the highlights are a little bit blown out and clipping so come to where you see the highlights and simply left click and drag the highlight slider down and it's going to get back information in the sky area and they're also going to do the same for the whites and also take the whites down and you can see by just doing that you have gotten back that nice and rich blue color in the sky and the information in the sky is starting to appear so after you have done that we're going to come to where you see blacks so just come to blacks and take the blacks down and what this does it controls the blacks in the image so if i told you want to add more contrast in the black areas just take the black slider down but make sure that you are not losing out information in the black areas of your image or in the black areas of your photo so you have to be careful so to reset just double click on the slider to reset a given effect so i'll just take this down i feel like that is okay negative 46 is fine because when we put it around there we are not closing out in on the information in the darkest areas of the image but if i told you you're still losing out information in the darkest areas of the image just come the shadow slider and you can recover that information in the shadow areas so by that just doing that you can see this is where we have been able to get this very image from looking like this to looking like this by just moving a few sliders in camera row so after doing that we are simply going to come to where you see more often times don't play around with this color slider unless the image is either too cold or too warm regarding temperature so temperature is basically warming up the image by moving the slider towards the right hand side and if at all your image is a little bit more on the warm side you can cool it by moving this slider towards the left hand side you can see how the temperature slider is going to be affecting the image so if at all you have taken an image and it is a little bit more on the red side you can as well play around with the tint so to eliminate the reds in the image move the tint slider towards the left hand side and to eliminate the greens if at all the image is looking like this and it has so many or a green cast you can always come and move it towards the opposite of greens which is the magenta so magenta is going to be eliminating greens so vibrance is basically what the vibrance slider is going to do it is going to increase the less saturated images so that the colors in the photo can look a little bit balanced so you can see that when we start taking up the vibrance slider it makes the blues 
almost match with the skin tone and the image looks better than it was before so that is how vibrance is going to be working but saturation i wouldn't recommend anyone to use the saturation slider because it just adds up an unnatural color you can see the colors are not balanced and now the skin tone is over brown so don't use i would recommend you rather use the vibrance and don't use the saturation slider so after doing that you can as well play around with the effects right here but for this case for portraits i don't play around with these options under effects so we are going to go straight into the color mixer tool so under color mixer we have hue saturation and luminous when you are playing around with the hues we are basically changing a color so towards the left hand side we are making a color look like a color on top of it which is the aquas and we're moving the blue slider towards the right hand side we are making the blues look like a color below it which is the purples so that is how hue is going to be affecting the image then saturation is the intensity of a given color you can increase the intensity of the blues or reduce on the intensity of the blues luminous is how bright or how dark you want a color to be you can either make the blues dark or you can make the blues bright in the image so that is how hue and saturation is going to be affecting the photo that you're going to be working on so for this case what do we want to do we just want to intensify the blues in the sky so we're going to come this luminous and simply slightly darken the blues to around negative 14 and that is going to add more contrast in the blue color in the sky and the models pants then we also want to add a little bit of contrast to the skin tone by moving the orange slider remember skin tones fall between the reds and the oranges and after you have done that we are going to come to saturation and you can increase on the intensity of a given color so i'm just going to add a tiny bit of saturation to around three and i feel like that is okay so in order to make the image pop a little bit more we are going to come to where you see the calibration option in camera or if at all you are using lightroom so we're going to come right here to where you see blue primary so how blue primary is going to be affecting the image or the portrait it is going to make the blues and the yellows richer in the photo so just come to the blue primary and where you see saturation just take this up so as soon as you if at all you take it too high you can see how saturated the oranges and the blues have become in the image so you have to be careful when it comes to using the saturation slider so just take it easy when it comes to moving this slider so at about 42 i think that is okay so if at all the effect is too much in a given area you can always come back to your color mixer right here so for example the skin tone looks too orange so you can come the saturation and simply reduce on the intensity of the oranges in the photo i feel like about there we are good to go so negative eight looks okay so you can say before after before after if at all it is too much you can always come and reduce it even more to your liking so around we are just going to go with around negative 12 so this is the image before after before after so after correcting the lighting and contrast issues regarding the image and you want to export the image into photoshop to do the final adjustments like skin retouching remember we want to have an image that is going to be rich in detail and we have so much information to deal with so you can set we have this option right here and for this option you have to set it only once when it comes to those people using camera raw so just click on it left click on it and it's going to open up the camera raw preferences and the space is going to be basically the display settings for the computer system that you're using so make sure the depth is set to 16 bits per channel because if at all you want to have more information in your photo always use a 16 bit per channel setting under the depth and make sure image resizing right here you leave it to 300 pixels per inch that is what i would recommend and don't check this option that says resize to fit then our output for sharpening i'll automatically check this and sharpen for screen and set this to standard 
So after doing that, just click OK. And every time you import images in Camera Raw, it is going to automatically save or have the settings that you put in initially. So after I have done that, we are going to simply come and click on Open to open the photo into Photoshop for us to do the other adjustments like skin retouching and any other adjustments that you would love to add to the photo. So this is how you can easily color grade or edit your raw images and make them pop when it comes to both camera raw and Lightroom. And if at all you have enjoyed this, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you are watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.